welcome to Social Work 340 Online. This is a brief orientation to the course to help get you started. In this orientation, we're going to look at and discuss how this course works, how this course is organized, where you can find materials for this course, when our assignments, quizzes, and tests do, and most importantly, what do you need to do to successfully pass this course? This course is offered exclusively online. That means that we will not meet face-to-face -face for class or submitting assignments. Everything that you do for assignments, you will submit online. Uh, all the quizzes that you take will also be online as well as the tests. For this class, you're going to need two main things. The first is the textbook. Here is the textbook. Buy it. You must buy it. And buy the hard copy, not the electronic version. The second thing you'll need for this class is a computer. Because this is online only, we won't meet face to face, you need access to a computer, which you should use daily to check for announcements and work on your assignments. Many of the assignments come out of the pages of the workbook or the, the textbook and you will be submitting these online. So you will be doing a lot of typing and accessing Blackboard every day. Again, make sure you buy the hard copy of the textbook. This course is organized in our Blackboard shell, as you can see here, and it's organized into different tabs. This is where you can find all the materials that you'll need for the course, except for your textbook. Everything else, all the other materials, are located here in these tabs in Blackboard. The My Grades tab, if you click on that, will show you a running list of all the uh, assignments, quizzes, and tests, and your grades for each. And this is very important to keep an eye on the weighted total, which means uh, the current percentage you're at in the class so that you can monitor your progress. The Announcements tab will have all of the class announcements um, listed here. Please make sure that you check the Announcements tab um, at least once a day for important announcements from the instructor. If you need to get in contact with the instructor, under the Faculty tab, you will see the current instructor's contact information here. Remember that this is an online course, so your best mode of communication with the instructor is to send an email. The Syllabus tab is here, and that's going to include the course syllabus, which is a very important document for everyone to read. That's the first document that you should read. The social work ethics other readings. Again, the social work um, textbook is going to be the main text for the class, but these are also required readings. The Texas Administrative Code. The Texas State Board of Social Worker Examiners Code of Conduct, the National Association of Black Social Workers Code of Ethics, and the National Association of Social Workers Code of Ethics. And these are important for you to become familiar with. So these are part of the required reading for the course. Then underneath those tabs, you'll notice that each tab is labeled a different week. So the way this course is organized is for each week of the course, you will have all the materials you need for that week 
in that specific tab. It's important for you to keep up with each week as the weeks progress. In other words, you shouldn't be starting to complete things in week two when it's October. You must complete the, what's in the week one tab between August 27th and August 31st. Within each tab, in terms of the assignments, there are specific instructions that give you step-to-step instructions regarding how to complete each assignment. It's important for you to read those carefully. Please get familiar with what's in these tabs each week and what's in um, the other tabs above that so that you know exactly where everything's located in the course. Again, the most important document to start out reading is the course syllabus. The course syllabus is a roadmap for success. In the course syllabus, it lists policies and procedures for the course, contact information, as well as a schedule of assignments and readings that need to be completed. Um, in addition to the quizzes and tests. So in order to get access to the syllabus, you click on the syllabus tab and you'll be able to pull up this document. I'm going to scroll down to um, this page, page three. Again, it tells you the name of the textbook which is what we consider a work text in this um, seminar and helping class. Any other required materials for reading, which again we found here in the Social Work Ethics Other Readings tab. And due to the nature of the course, again, because it's online only, you're going to need regular weekly access to a computer with reliable internet. And I'm going to skip down now to uh, major assignments and grade distribution. Here, um, because we work on a percentage basis, uh, you will see the weight for each assignment in terms of how much it's, it's worth. You can keep up with your performance on these assignments in your My Grades tab over here. So this course is going to include um, an introduction, a student introduction and diversity discussion, 12 weekly quizzes, which cover the readings, assigned weekly readings in the work text, as well as some parts of the social work um, code of ethics that we use from um, the Texas Administrative Code, NABSW and NASW, and the Texas State Board of Social Worker Examiners. You'll also have an academic integrity commitment agreement form to complete. There is also some extra credit associated with this particular assignment, uh, which you can find in the tab um, over here in Blackboard. Personal self-assessment assignment is worth 10% of your final course grade. There are five textbook worksheets that need to be completed, uh, worth 20% total. There is a biopsychosocial assessment interview worth 15% of your overall course grade, um, two exams, and attendance. The instructor will need to see a record of you accessing the course at least once a week in order for um, the attendance to be uh, taken. Okay, so starting on page four, we have the course outline. This course outline tells you um, the dates that readings need to be completed, as well as the dates that assignments, quizzes, and tests need to be submitted. All of these due dates you should put in your day runner or planner or calendar so that you can keep up with them.
So you can see exactly what we're going to cover, what you need to read. For example, on week four, um, you need to read pages 40 to 55 of your textbook, as well as section one of the NASW Code of Ethics, the Texas State Board of Social Workers Social Worker Examiner's Code of Conduct, uh, the Texas Administrative Code, Section 781.211, as well as 781.401. And again, all of these other readings you can find in the Social Work Ethics Other Readings tab. This is the entire schedule for the course. Okay. Underneath the course calendar, there are the course requirements. So this lists all of the assignments and tests and quizzes that are due with specific details about how to complete each one. Please read these carefully. There are a lot of details here so that you can successfully complete and submit your completed assignments. One thing to note is for the biopsychosocial assessment interview, which is assignment due in the latter part of the semester, we want you to plan ahead um, because you will need to find a computer with a webcam and you will need also um, a cell phone to record audio for the interview, uh, the assessment interview, or a microphone attachment to a computer. But you will definitely need a computer with a webcam. So please plan ahead and start um, making plans to ensure that you have access to, again, a computer with a webcam. Um, and all of the details for this assignment are here in uh, the syllabus as well as in uh, week 14 tab of Blackboard but this is something we want you to start thinking about and planning for. After all of the assignment details are listed, the course policies are right after that. These are the assignment policies. Again, it's important to um, note the dates and times that assignments, tests, and quizzes are due and turn those in on time. So please read through all of these class policies. Please make sure that you do your own work. We take plagiarism very seriously in our social work program and it is not tolerated and we want everyone, all students, to do their own work. So do not copy or do not have anyone else do your work for you. This is very important. This is a very professional program. If you have a disability, please visit the Office of Disability Services at the beginning of the semester so they can evaluate any documentation that you have to determine if you're eligible for any needed services or classroom modifications. Please make sure that you do this at the beginning of the semester as opposed to the end of the semester so that you can make sure that you have all the modifications that you need for the entire duration of the semester. All of the contact information for the Office of Disability Services Department is here in the syllabus. Please call them if you have any questions. Assignments and tests are due throughout the semester. Again, um, at various points of the semester, different things are due. So again, what I want you to do is to take note of when things are due in the syllabus and you have them right here. Okay. So you never have to ask when is something due because it's all here for you. All of the due dates for everything. And this ties in with what you need to do to successfully 
complete the course. And there are, are four main key elements that students need to, to do to abide by to successfully complete this course. In order to successfully complete this course, as well as any other social work course, you need a C or higher. And there are four main things that will contribute to your success at passing this course. The first thing, um, the first component is reading. It is imperative that you keep up with each week as things are assigned. Don't get behind two or three weeks. Make sure you're keeping up with the week three readings on week three, completing those week three readings between September 10th and 14th. Don't wait until November to do the week three readings. That sets you up for failure. So the first important factor is keeping up with the work as it's assigned. There is a lot of reading in this course. Sometimes you may find yourself having difficulty remember it, remembering what you read after reading it just once. So the other thing tied into reading is not only um, keeping up with the, the work on the week it's assigned, but also to reread, reread what you've read. And some students find it helpful to use a highlighter in their textbook and make notes in the margins. Um, some others find it helpful to do note cards. Whatever you need to do, make sure that you are rereading the important parts of the textbook and our code of ethics, our various codes of ethics. The second factor in being successful in this course is to follow instructions for the assignments. Again, following instructions for the assignments. Um, there is no excuse um, to say, I didn't know how to do it. Okay, there are details about the different steps, the purposes and the steps that you need to take to complete the assignments. And all of the assignments are either found in the work text or in the specific tabs on the week they're assigned. So in terms of following instructions for assignments, make sure that you complete those on the due date. Okay, don't turn them in late. Don't not turn them in right? Make sure that you turn them in on the due date and also make sure that the, the formatting is correct in, in, in terms of content and structure. And all those details are in the syllabus. The third factor that contributes to student success in this course is to plan ahead. Again, if you know that something's going to be uh, due on uh, September 4th, then you write that down in your calendar. And what we also suggest for you to do, we encourage you to do is backtrack. So if you know that you're going to need a week or so um, to finish this assignment, then you write the September 4th as the due date, but then you backtrack a few days and you annotate in your calendar, begin working on this assignment. That ensures that you won't come up to the the day before it's due and and have to to rush. Um, backtracking means you set a as many days as you need, knowing your own um, strengths and weaknesses, to begin working on assignment, and you put the beginning to work on assignment date in your calendar as well. So we also uh, want you to do that. We also want you, again, for, to be successful on the biopsychosocial assessment interview uh, for this course. We want you to make sure that you start looking for a camera, um, I'm sorry, a computer with a webcam. Okay. Please start doing that at the beginning of the semester so that you don't find yourself two days before this assignment is due scrambling to try to find a computer like this. We want you to start looking for a computer with a webcam on day one of this class. So make sure that you plan ahead. 
And the fourth and final um, factor to doing really well in this course is to ask questions. Now in this course, all the details of, of all the assignments are laid out. Um, you know, that it leaves very little room for um, questions. However, if you do have questions, we encourage you to ask. If there are questions related to the content of this course, make sure that you click on the faculty tab and you email your instructor right away. And do this ahead of time. Don't ask questions after something is due. Make sure that you give yourself again plenty of time to begin the assignment, um, knowing your own uh, writing style and the you know your schedule. Make sure you plan for that and ask questions early. Be assertive about your learning. If it's a question about how Blackboard works, then you can also contact um, June Claiborne. Dr. June Claiborne is a specialist at the Blackboard Helpline, um, and her number is 713-313-4853. So again, if you have questions about the course content, email the instructor with questions. We encourage it. Okay. If you have questions about how Blackboard works in terms of the system, um, or if you're having trouble with, you know, accessing a quiz or a test or, um, you know, the, the system freezes, please call Dr. Claiborne again, Dr. June Claiborne, so, so she can help um, troubleshoot. And remember... We talked about successfully passing this course with a 70% or higher. What happens if you don't pass this course with a 70% or higher, if you get a C minus or below? That not only means that you have to retake this course the next semester, but it also means that you have wasted time Again, because you have to spend two semesters taking a class that could have taken you one semester. And you also waste money. You've paid hundreds of dollars for this course. Make sure you walk out of the semester with a good grade so that you don't have to look back and pay double for something you should only pay a couple hundred dollars for, right? Um, and tied into that, if you don't pass this class, not only do you waste your time and your money, but you also risk, um, jeopardize any financial aid or the good standing with financial aid that you might have. And that could cause significant barriers to obtaining financial aid for the next semester. So it behooves you to read, follow instructions, plan ahead, and ask questions so you can successfully pass this course and keep matriculating so that you can be a graduate of our wonderful social work program and a graduate of the best university in the state of Texas, Texas Southern University. This concludes our orientation to the course. Please email your instructor with any questions. Mm -hmm.